Do you find it's often first up best dressed investments that progress and not those that are going to add the most strategic value? If that's your experience, you're not alone. The investment logic map was designed to provide a low cost way of eliciting the need for an investment without spending a lot of money on a business case. And when it's used in that way, it does the job well. One thing that's been really niggling away at me is that the richness of the discussion that's elicited at an ILM workshop is lost in the map itself. More recently, Māori attending the workshops have expressed concern about the negative positioning of the ILM, that it focuses on problems and not opportunities and strengths. So for these reasons, we've started developing the strategic case on a page to complement the ILM. It better provides the nuance and the context that the discussion evoked. So we've got a couple of examples we're really happy to share with you. They lay out the compelling story that is quick and easy for decision makers to get to grips with. You might like to think about using this approach to prioritise investments before you spend a lot of money on full business cases. Once you've spent tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars on a business case, it's really hard to deprioritise or stop an investment. My advice would be to keep it light and inexpensive leave the detailed evidence, the options analysis, the robust commercials for the full business case, focus on the high level case for change. <music>